Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest! Let's go check out the mine and rescue Ruben's dad! By fighting new enemies here! Alright, we got Red Bones and Zombies! So, uh, let's see, these guys, I probably want to take out one at a time. Oddly enough, the Red Bones are weak to ice for whatever reason, so we're gonna throw snowmen on them. That's gotta be the weirdest animation for a blizzard spell I have ever seen in Final Fantasy history. But anyway, now we can just bomb them to death if I want to. Or knock their heads, whack them upside the head with a morning star. Or a flail, or whatever it is, or a mace. Now, I don't want to get into that discussion again, viewers. But anyway, yeah. Uh, the zombies there, which look like mummies to me, but they're weak to ice. Uh, they're both weak to curative or zombie attacks, but uh, I wouldn't use it on them. It won't kill them. Uh, and also the z z zombies are weak to thunder, oddly enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'll just kill all these guys off screen there and then I'll be right back. All right, I took care of all those guys. By the way, uh, as a few people pointed out, uh, that piece of armor that I got, uh, which one was that? Yeah, the Venus Shield, that's paralysis protection. Sorry, I I mixed up the symbols, you know. Not that any of that really matters, because by the time I actually care about it, you know, we'll have protection from it anyway. So, and we got plenty of heal potions and heal spells. And the life spell, as many of you also mentioned, the life spell also cures status ailments too, not just death. So, that's pretty nice there. But anyway, let's head on over here. Now, the, one of the things that I really like about this area is that we got these little, well, whatever these things are called, I don't know. But you can just take that all the way down, or, yeah, all the way down to here. So, you know, you can get around areas and stuff like that, because, well, this is the mine, right? So, yeah, I mean, I really like that about this area, you know? They got little unique mechanics for this area, you know? Well, I like the whole, all the areas in the game, but especially this one. But yeah, that's just, uh... One thing I really like about the game, you know, I mean, like, early on, you know, yeah, I, I don't know if I especially cared for the first couple dungeons, but, you know, you had the music and everything going with that early on, you know, so that was pretty nice, you know, and later on, you know, when you, well, well they still have new music and everything like that, which is pretty cool, but then they start gradually adding slightly more and more complex battle mechanics, and, or not battle mechanics, um, uh, Dungeon mechanics, like with the conveyor belt and the mine, whatever those things are that I just dropped down with. Yeah, I don't know what you call those things, but, eh, whatever. I, I guess you use those to, uh, what, drop stuff down safely or whatever? Uh, I, like you're mining for ore or something, I don't know. Not that I know that much about mining. I actually just created my first miner on uh, World of Warcraft recently. But for getting in here, we get the Charm Claw. All right, so so next upgrade for it. Not very powerful, but you can inflict more status ailments. I think that's like the only way you can really inflict status ailments besides the heal spell. And in both cases, it really doesn't matter. So, at least with these claws, you know? So, eh, maybe, maybe not. Sometimes I might just use the claw because I can uh, kill an enemy in two hits, with, with, whether it's with this or the axe. And by the way, when you're fighting those mummy zombie things or whatever, um, you might as well just use your thunder spells on them. Like, use that, take priority with that, instead of using Blizzard on another enemy, because I think almost every enemy is weak to ice in this area, but they're the only ones that are weak to thunder. Okay, I took care of all the enemies in this area. There's nothing to the right there. there some enemies, uh, I don't know, they were just guarding empty space for whatever reason. And by the way, in this area, uh, Ruben can one-shot anything with his Morning Star. He is just ridiculously powerful here, so that's pretty nice. And another thing, because he can one-shot anything, you see the difference in speed between Benjamin and Ruben there? Uh, if there's only two enemies in the area, Use, you can use a Mega Grenade, and Ruben will pretty much always go first, and then you'll follow up with your Mega Grenade, which can kill one enemy, but obviously not two. Um, if you're, in my experience, it's kind of like Final Fantasy Legend 3, where if 
your agility is like 10 or more greater than someone else, you pretty much always go first before they do. But if it's like five, or you're only off by like five or so, then you're, then it's pretty random who will go first. So you want to be careful with that. More often than not, if you're within 10 agility of your secondary character, then chances are you use a mega grenade, you'll go first. And, well, that would be bad, because then you'd weaken both enemies, Ruben would kill the other one, and, well, yeah, that just wouldn't work at all. So, yeah, usually when you got a Mega Grenade, you want to go second. And you'll basically never run out of magic at this point in the game, so I wouldn't worry about that. You, the game gives you more than enough money without grinding, and, uh, yeah, I'm out of black and wizard spells. Not anymore! Oh, hey, there's a unique guy down there, but he's not that big. I like using the claw as a weapon to finish off enemies. Yeah, I didn't have to go up here. I'm going to have to walk all the way back around off screen. But I wanted to commit mass genocide. So I'll just meet you back down there. I'm going to have to walk all the way around. Okay, I made it back all the way over here. Oh, that guy looks a little pudgy. Kiss me, fat boy! For boss time! This guy is Jin. So let's kick it! Yeah! Oh, I just love the music in this game. But yeah, first things first, let's take out the uh, red bones there. I suppose it does kind of make sense that they're weak to uh, ice, since they're red bones. Ow! Yeah, this guy will kick your ass. So now we want to use thunder on him. He's not weak to any element, as far as I know. So, we might as well just go all out. If we can actually hit the guy. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to do some healing. If I need Ruben to do some healing, like I said, you could use the life spell as a full cure spell, even on someone who's not dead. So, you know, that's an alternative that you got there if you really need some healing. Although, I don't think that was actually intended by the game designer, so. Oh, well. Let's take this guy down. Some people were asking me, H.C. Bailey, why don't you upload an episode of this game every day if you like it so much? Well, you know, really, I only upload side LP episodes, like when I have, you know, the time and energy, which isn't necessarily every day. You know, I figure, okay, I'll do a main Let's Play episode every day, but, you know, I want to have my best energy for these side LP episodes. I mean, it's a lot, as much as I love the game, you know, it's kind of hard for me to get my energy up that, get my energy up, get, have high energy all the time, like. You know, I mean, even I get tired every now and then. I mean, I consider myself a high-energy guy, but still, you know. Well, I suppose that is the drawback to uploading a main Let's Play episode every day. I mean, I heck, heck, I'd imagine even the big-name players would, you know, ha have a hard time doing this every single day, you know. But, you know, I like doing it every day. It's fun for me. It's not fun when I'm getting put to sleep like that, though. Eh, just finish them off for a bit. But yeah, sometimes, you know, recording an episode if I'm a little tired that day, sometimes, you know, it helps pick up my energy, you know? I, you know, kind of feeling a little down for the day, maybe, but, you know, it makes me feel better, so I like doing it every day. You know, sometimes I just say silly things when I'm tired, you know? So even if, you know, I'm not feeling particularly clever or witty for the day, you know, I, I can still, you know, come up with something amusing, I guess. Yeah, you see, I'm using mega grenades all the time, and I'm still... Uh, I got a good supply going there. Hey, he looks just like, uh, Dad in, uh, Final Fantasy Legend 2. I never re thought of that. Huh. With the hat and everything. I heard in the Saga 2 for the DS, the remake, that they got rid of his hat. How could they do that? How could they get rid of his hat? That was, like, his defining characteristic. But anyway, you throw a Mega Grenade, the boulder goes down. Just pretend the boulder was bigger than it actually was, viewers. I, I know... You it looks like he could just walk around it, you know, but, you know, just use your imagination, you know. When I was your age, we didn't have all these complex graphics to, you know, really show how desperate the situation was, you know. We had to use our imagination back then, and we liked it. Okay, well, anyway, let's get out of here. Whee! Yeah, just use that exit spell. And now that we've gotten the boulder there, we can walk right over into this area. I don't know that there's anything special here, but we might as well take a look. Um... Okay... What was the point of that? 
I know it's not a translation error because this was originally made in English for the United States, so it, it couldn't be like some translation thing or whatever. I don't know what the point of that was. Yeah, this is how you get over here in the Wintry Temple, so yeah, that's kind of nice. All right, so let's see what uh, what good old dad, or dear old dad can tell us. Got another battlefield up there, and we can head up to that volcano there, but uh, nothing we can do about that yet. So let's just uh, talk to dad, I guess. One of these houses had a, uh, one of those teleporter things that I could use, didn't it? Oh, okay. How's it going? What's up? Oh, okay. Well, it wasn't in that area, so... Well, at least now we know, so now we know where to go. But before we do that, let's do a little exploring. I could go for a little length on this episode. I don't care to make my episodes too long for this game, because, I mean, look at this. I'm nine episodes in, and I've almost finished the whole game. So, uh, yes, this is the one I was looking for. I, knew, I thought there was another one, but, uh... Anyway, yeah, I think this is Aquaria, isn't it? Yes, it is! So, yeah, you can get back here whenever you want to, so, uh, that's, yeah, I just figured, yeah, I might as well show that out there, so, there we go. But can we get back the power of the fire crystal from the lava dome? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!